Good evening, everyone. I'm Neil Lewis. Tonight, we start off on a special report about a new wave of extreme music with abrasive and extremely abhorrent messages. Some people call it vile, others call it just plain noise, but their fans refer to it as death metal. The town of Mesa, Arizona is mostly known as a retirement paradise. The population of almost 280,000 has people 65 and older make up 84% of its demographic. What's your opinion on the Nile Underground? Tough nut, this one. It's a mostly quiet end of the neighborhood until you come here. The Nile is no stranger to bands like Phobophilic, Enforced, 200 Stab Wounds, and Undeath. This style of heavy metal strays away from bright exotic hair and leather pants and exchanges them for demonic growls and suggestive cover art, much like this. Oh my god, have you seen the lineup? I think you're here to have a good time. You hear a death metal show is happening, you want to come see the good death metal show. Metal lives in Mesa, man, what can I say? With a tightly packed venue such as this, it's easy to get caught up in the action. I just got out of that pit, I'm sweating balls. Each band sounded louder and more violent by the minute, and I struggled to understand why my son preferred music like this to the Beatles. How is your hearing still working? It's not, I have, I have tinnitus now. It's going out. We interviewed several attendees, each one more degenerate than the last. I think Jesus approves of metal, though. Do you feel as a no-pet fan that you are uh, an oppressed class of people? I'm glad you asked that. The answer is kinda. There's no Opeth album better than Blackwater Park, and everybody knows it. But we are a troubled people. We're a simple people, though. During one of our interviews, our cameraman was harassed by a group of women. You're really cute. <laughs> These degenerates know no bounds. We spoke to the drummer of the band Phobophilic in an attempt to understand why they think universal health care is such a great idea. Um. I think no good reason. What's, uh, do you have any advice on getting a DUI? Um, shit, you should probably not do that. That's bad. What's it like playing a drummer on tour? You know, it's, uh, it's pretty cool most of the time. But it's very tiring and, um, it's all, I, it's all I really know right now. It's just like what I love to do for some crazy reason. It's a ridiculous thing to love to do. <laughs> so far, so good. I'm Mill Lewis with the New York Ass Times.